much better about that second half than the previous uh, half, I suppose, even the previous couple games? Well, I thought in the, you know, the second half we just got more aggressive. You know, I, I mean, when we came out, um, you know, before the half even started, I said, listen, we're not going to even talk about offense. It's, it's all about us just getting more aggressive on the defensive end and, um, you know, sticking to our principles and just getting better at it. And I, I thought that's what they did. What, what did they do execution-wise, I suppose, that the effort was obviously there defensively, but what, did anything change in terms of what they were executing? No, they were just more on a string. Guys were just covering for each other. You know, the thing that killed us the first half was they had 32 points in the paint. They were getting to the middle almost at will. Um, second half, that was almost cut in half as far as them getting to the paint. You know, they had, I think, 12 points in the paint the second half. So we just did a much better job of, you know, clogging the paint up, getting out to their shooters, contesting shots, and then rebounding the ball. Do you feel like Kobe Gates didn't shoot well, but really attacked the basket a lot more tonight than the previous execution? Yeah, I thought he did well. You know, again, I think each game he's just getting a little bit stronger. You know, he's feeling a little bit more comfortable and confident. Um, you know, so hopefully in the next, you know, week and a half, you know, he'll be pretty close to where we want him to be. How badly did the team need him? Regardless of the circumstances, get a win after the last few struggles. I don't know if we, you know, again, preseason, you just want to make um, some – you know, take some small steps and get better, you know, especially what we're talking about on the defensive end. So I think just the fact that we played so much better in the second half was encouraging enough, uh, especially for our guys to see it on tape, you know, in the next couple of days to see, you know, everything that we talked about, you know, our, um, you know, our baseline drives when guys are driving, how we're getting over there and how we veeing back and then how we're getting to the net, just all the little things that we talked about defensively, you know, once you see it, you know, on tape, you know, you're you're able to say, okay, you know, this works when we do it the right way. You know, so I think that's the biggest the biggest thing. We wasn't a step slow the second half. We were almost a step ahead. So uh, again, you know, it's just a work in progress. You know, process is just coming and coming. You know, and each day we just keep working on it. Well, that's normally how it goes <laughs> for some for some reason. You know, when you play good, solid defense, everything seems to be falling for you on the offensive end. You know, and I thought uh, the first half we were struggling offensively because we kept thinking about, you know, we're not making shots. You know, uh, I, I remember one time out, I told them, don't let that end of the floor affect the way we play on the defensive end. And I thought, you know, the second half we didn't. We just started playing better defense. Obviously, there's areas where you need to improve, but just effort-wise, what you saw tonight, at least in the second half, kind of effort matching what you're looking for? Exactly. You know, I thought Julius came in and played great in the second half. His effort was great. Uh, his communication on the defensive end was much, much better. Offensively, he was really good. You know, made some mistakes, but it wasn't because of lack of effort. And, and that's the way he has to play.